Wait a minute. What's Take the it matter? back. What's the matter? Where's the motor? There's, the, there's no motor in this car. You don't what are you, a smarty or something? No, no, there's no, no. no motor in the car. Now, you don't this. understand, sir. Listen, this is an innovation. The motor's in the rear of the car. Who are you kidding? You've never heard of the motor in the rear of the car. sir. How do you drive this car? The conventional way from behind the wheel. Why don't you step in and try us, sir? Go ahead, get motor's in the back. That's right. I got a doozy of a car. How do you drive it? Uh, just get right in there, sir. No, 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 no. This, there you are. Uh, you're familiar with our new type of gear shift, of course. What do you think? Of course. There you are. It's a little tricky until you get used to it. Yes, sir. Now, all that you do is back up and you can go out through the service door. Right. Right this way. No, no, wait. you knew all about gear shifts. I do, sir, but you had no right to put the motor in the back instead of in the front. <laughs> you see what you did to the man's glass window? So what? They got spare glass windows just like they got spare tires. You're right. For 98 bucks. And that's wholesale. Well, come on. Kick him. Get it up. You just gave me the money. Go ahead. Pay the man. Am I going to give to the guy? I don't know. I didn't think I was going to keep this too long. 98 bucks. Uh, hey, uh... Thank you. And next glass. time, sonny boy, Try to pay attention when someone teaches how to drive. Well, you've still got $52 left. Now try and watch out for your money and stay out of trouble. Hey, you! I... Hey, Abbott. A spook from California. Hey, I better lock this guy up. He's off his rocker. Wait a minute, officer. You know, we know a policeman in California. He's a dead ringer for you. I get it. You mean my twin brother, Mike, on the Los Angeles Police Force. Yeah, we know him. Yeah. Yeah, but what are you doing here parked on the sidewalk? We just had an accident. Slight mistake. That's well. All right, as long as you know my brother, Mike, on your way. Thank you, sir. You'll give us a lift? Oh, sure. Thank sure. You. I'll push you to see that you do get on your way. that spare tire in Denver, or we'd be dead. If we don't get something to eat soon, I'll be dead. Yeah, if you hadn't run away from that cop in Flint, Michigan, if we'd have caught up with you, we'd have been eating comfortably in a nice jail by now. Hey, uh, what? Is that coffee I smell or am I nuts? It's coffee and you're still nuts. Ooh, nutty coffee. I... It smells like it's coming from over here. That's huh? better. Better drop the club, it might be the law. <laughs> Hi, fellas. We were fixing a flat tire when we smelled your coffee. Boy, what perfume. May I have a cup of coffee, sir? Get him. A cup he wants. Would you like your cup sterling silver or solid gold? Oh, quit the ribbing, boys. We're regular guys. Only we're fat broke. We haven't eaten in a couple of days. This is an exclusive club. Before anybody gets anything around here, he's got to rustle up something for the pot. Sure, Chuck's out now, digging up something for the mulligan. Well, why don't Mr. Mulligan go out and look for himself? Get him. Is he a scream? <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Didn't you ever hear of Mulligan? Oh, yes, my aunt. She went out with a mulligan. A uh, mulligan stew. That was the guy she went out with. This mulligan was always stew. <laughs> this is uh, Boyle Mulligan. Yeah, every Sunday night, Mulligan used to come in boiled to the gills. Make up your minds. Are you going to hustle some grub, aren't you? All right, we'll get some grub. We'll get some grub. Why don't Mulligan help us? Ah, uh, what? Get out the hand-painted tablecloth, boys. We're going to eat like kings. Is this the thing of beauty, or is this the thing of beauty? You must have paid plenty for him. For your information, chum, this is a her. She carelessly parked herself on a nest near an open barn door, and... Here she is. Well, come on, let's dig up something for the pot. Don't worry about that, fellas. We got plenty of spuds and onions oh. in the deep freeze. That's all we need to cook with, Gwendolyn. Hold it, fellas. I think I hear oh. visitors heading our way. My sense of smell doesn't deceive me. One of our guests is the sheriff. Oh. Ditch the seagull. Right, ditch it. Oh. Oh, oh, here, you take it. Oh, no, you don't. I hate jails. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, hide them. What are you going to do? Where am I going to hide them? Under your coat. Under the coat. <laughs> Get the feathers on. Yeah. <laughs> 
One of these dirty low down thieves stole my Agnes. I beg your pardon, Sheriff, but I resent this gentleman's uncouth accusation. Save it. Which one of you's got Agnes? Well, don't look at me. I, I don't like any dame with the name of Agnes. Why not? Well, I just don't like the name Agnes. My wife's name is Agnes. Oh, I love the name of Agnes. <laughs> I love Agnes. Agnes Shut up. loves you. Shut up. I love Agnes. Shut up. Do you love Shut up. Agnes? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Agnes is my prize hand, Sheriff, and I'll shoot the man what's got her. You fellas ain't seen Agnes. How about these feathers on the ground? <laughs> what's that? Well, you see, my friend likes to do imitation. Go ahead. Uh, do it again for the Sheriff. <laughs> hey, that isn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do imitate myself. Yes. And look, Sheriff, never mind the imitations. I want my Agnes. Keep your shirt on, Henry. This boy and me's got the same hobby. Yeah, Pop. The Sheriff and I, we like to do imitations of all kinds of... <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's good. But did you do anything besides chickens? Why, Sheriff, you haven't, you haven't heard anything yet. My friend here can imitate any bird that flies on the wing. Uh, just ask him about what. Anyone at all, he'll do it. Uh, all right, mister. Let me hear you do a crow. A crow? Uh-huh. A cock-a-doodle-doo! A cock-a-doodle-doo! That's the Australian crow. Uh, cock, uh, can't you do the uh, American crow? Cock, 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 can't you? Cock, cock. Can't you? Cock, cock, cock. Cock, How do you always go back to the chicken? That's, that's my best imitation. Oh, yeah. When I was a boy in Minnesota, you know, you used to see those old Canadian honker geese fly overhead. They sort of went honk, 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 you know? Hey, that's a good one. That, 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 that Canadian, uh, the geese. Honk, honk. <laughs> Yeah, do it for the sheriff. You can huh? do it. You can do it. I mean, after all, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> but, but, but let me let me tell you this. Can you do an awk? Do a what? An awk. A U K awk. I never even heard of it. An awk. An awk. Sure, you can do an awk. I can't imitate a walk. I don't know how to imitate an awk. What do you mean? <laughs> well, Henry, I don't think Agnes is around here. I laid an egg. How did you do it? I didn't do it. The chicken did it. <laughs> hey, Agnes! Hey! What does that sign say? Hey, how can two roads go in different directions and still you wind up in Los Angeles? Because one's a shortcut. That's for us. Yeah, look how rough that road is. I know, but you saved six miles. We'll take it. So we'll take it. We'll save six miles. Here. Maybe 10 minutes, maybe 10 hours. Got engine trouble. Hey, wait a minute, buddy. I'll give you a push. Yes. What's with him? Is he not? Who shall he be? Hey, Abbott, I got an idea. Look at these planks here. Well, you know what we'll do? We can take these planks, so put them right down here, and make a ramp. Then we take the car, and we go up the ramp. And we take the planks, put them on the other side of the freight car. Then we got the car, we go right through this here freight car, and down the ramp on the other side of the road. You know, when your brain gets congested, or an idea really comes out, don't it? I get the ideas, don't I? Yeah, it's all right. We'll get the planks out and put them down here, all right? Yeah. Go ahead, get them out. We'll get the planks out and put them down here. Go ahead, get them out. I always got to get them out. You get the planks out. Get a little bit of help. Oh, Put 
Put him down. Hello, boy. How's it coming? I'll have it fixed in a couple of minutes. How's that? Heavy, huh? Uh -huh. Hey, well, we got the planks down. Yeah. Now, all we got to do is drive the car up here, into the car, take the planks, put them on the other side, and we're all set. Well, let's drive the car up. Hey, Abbott. Now what? We're only six miles from Los Angeles. Never mind that. Come on, get the car in here. Okay, baby. That ought to do it. I'll give it a test. Keep your eye on it, Fred. Okay. All right, now come on down and get these pipes, put them on the other side. <laughs> me down here to help you nail down the guys robbing your freight cars. Well, don't have to worry about this one. It's an empty. Been sitting in the yard here for two weeks. Doesn't seem empty to me. Yeah, let's have a look. You see the landlord or something? You're choking me. What's the matter with you? 